I was gross. At least I don't have snaky hair, okay? We can walk like a snake. Don't look. Today's a serious video is just going to be talking about the YouTube over party. I'm also going to be talking about the message that Kayla Nicole sent me and some other stuff as well that I think you should know. So let's get straight into the drama. In the Kayla Nicole situation out of the way, let's just address this, alright? And this is important for me to address this. It kind of falls into the YouTube over party. So let's just get into it. There's not going to be a lot of editing today, guys. So I'm just being real because I'm flying to Houston tomorrow and I got a lot of videos that I got to upload. I have this one with B-Love, oh, eating B-Love sauce, and there's some drama behind that. I got two videos that I did with Choice TV, and I got old, I got, that's going to take a while to edit, have a um, situation regarding part two of Deje and that girl, how she had a fight with uh, Chris's on and off girlfriend. So as you guys know, yesterday I made a video on Kayla Nicole. If you haven't seen it, make sure to go see that. Talking a little bit about the situation as Morgan, the assistant, has spoken out and allegedly, like I said in my previous video, allegedly Kayla jumped her. Again, at the end of the video, I said I'm be waiting for Kayla's side of the story. You guys all heard that because you know I'm not biased. I'm not just going to run with Morgan's story because Morgan could be lying. Morgan could be some crazy person. I don't know, Morgan. Who Morgan? She looked like Bad Baby, okay? A pretty virgin. And Bad Baby's crazy, so... Anyway, Kayla Nicole must have seen the video because she went to my lead page. By the way, the lead page isn't what well, I own it and I can access it. But a part of my team is on there. He helps me research and put everything together. He is on that page, okay? So, when you're talking to someone on there, it's most likely not me. I still help, but not as much because I want to focus on editing. Anyway, she sent a message saying, I really would appreciate you not jumping on everything I do without full detail. You bias as F ever you do a story on me. Instead of the last time in the lyric situation. Honestly, shut the f up. It's gross. Hi. I work for Martin Lewis. Is there anything else you want me to tell you? My poor dude probably like, what the hell going on? <laughs> Just watch the live and stop running off with ish. Pushing the narrative. It's whack. Anyway, if you read my title, you would see it has a question mark. It's something like Kayla Nicole jumped her assistant and more tea. It's not saying Kayla Nicole jumped her assistant, guys. So I'm not running with that narrative. And I'm not biased as F, okay? The white face thing, I sticked up for her for that. Daisha thing, I had her back on that situation. Um, the only thing that was sus was the Thai thing because it looks sus. You have put in stuff out there with other T pages and stuff. I have right to comment of what you posted. Those other T pages are not going to look deep into it and try to figure out what's going on. There's some, but not all of them. Like on IG, for example, not a lot of them dig deep. You know what I mean? Try to understand the full thing and try to make sense of it. You feel me? They're just going to take what you say and run with it. While me, I'm going to be like, okay, what's this, this, this? I need to understand this. Why you did this? Why? You know what I'm saying? I want to get to the bottom of it. If you're fake as hell, you're not going to want to talk to me because I want to know what you did wrong. You feel me? That's how I do my videos. But anyway, I end up messaging her through my page. Hey, my team, hit me up regarding your message. Anyway, first off, how was my story on you and Ty Bias? Question mark. The video I did recently had no conclusion. I never pushed the narrative. Did you even watch the video? The fuck? Besides that, good on you for speaking on your side, staying silent you up at the end haven't seen your full stream yet but will soon because you guys know i was waiting for everything to come out so i'm thinking damn maybe i shouldn't talk about her no more saying that she is a public figure oh i could just call her this and then i won't get in trouble no one would know what i'm talking about because i'll just be like oh this snake lady did this did that you know i have to speak in code with you guys and i might have to because these new youtube rules are crazy as hell as you guys know hashtag youtube over party has been trending on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, make sure you have one and follow me. By the way, before I move forward, I have a new drama channel for beauty drama. So make sure to go check that out. I have my first video on there and it's going to be lit. I can't wait to get that up and running. But YouTube basically released a huge statement, a huge paragraph. Anyway, I'm just sick as hell and if I try to read this, I'll be here all day. So I'm going to get these other YouTubers to talk about it. Roll it. So many of you have told us that we need to do a better job preventing harassment on YouTube so we consulted with a wide array of creators, experts, and organizations to update our harassment policy, which changed today. Here's what it covers. Your stricter stance on abusive language, 
damage, prolonged attacks that insult a person's intruistic attributes such as race, physical traits, sexual orientation, religion, or gender. No, this won't affect our openness for a broad range of artistic expression and debate on important issues. We're having a stricter stance on threats, not only explicit threats, but also implicit ones referencing physical violence included here are threats that might not cite a specific time or place, but that may feature weapons or simulated violence. Consequences for harassment patterns. Because harassment can be more than a single video, repeated behavior like maliciously targeting the same individual across multiple videos or comments can lead to penalties like the YouTube Partner Program suspension, strikes, or even termination. So yes, it is a concern because someone can be like, oh my god, you said Kayla should move like a snake. Oh my god, you bullied me. You know what I mean? Or, oh my god, you made like three videos about me. That's harassment. So that's why I don't put the same YouTubers at the front of the thumbnail. I change it up now and then. And that's why I always put more tea. So you guys know that I have more drama within the video. There's a lot of things that we can't talk about. I can't show it because it might have threats in it. Like, let's say someone, like in my recent video, part two of Daisha and uh, Dre is situation that girl the the rapper ex-girlfriend whatever her name is she gave a threat to Drea if I post that on YouTube is YouTube gonna go all crazy I don't know you guys I will be uploading part two on story fire okay part two is not going to be um, on my channel because it contains fighting there's gonna be girls fighting and I really didn't want to edit it out so I decided to upload on this new platform that a few YouTubers are uploading onto. And I really want you guys to join. It's really awesome. The notifications work on there. So you can actually t um, put the notifications on. You can mute your notifications onto other people if you want. But I would really love it if you go on there and subscribe to me. I really don't even know how it works. But this is the only platform that I know of that is apparently doing well and a couple of other YouTubers have joined it. So I will be uploading my first video on there. I will be uploading a video that Chandler Alexis took down on my channel this year as well, and she won't be able to touch it on there because it's a whole different thing. So I definitely want you guys to check it out. It's called Story Fire, and my profile is the only one that says Martin Lewis. So that is my backup, okay? If anything happens, you have me on Instagram, Twitter, and this and you will receive notifications at work okay if anything happens that's I guess where I would be if something was to happen in my channel but I don't think anything would happen to my channel I do feel a lot of youtubers might complain about some of the things I say but then I'll run it through YouTube and YouTube will see that it's not out of maliciousness and it's all comedy and satire and be like cool with it because I don't make threats or do anything crazy towards other youtubers comment moderation by year's end most channels will be enabled with a tool that automatically holds potentially inappropriate comments for review you could always opt out but note that early Early adopters saw a 75% reduction in flag comments on their channels. Okay, so on the service, this terms of service change does not seem like that big a deal. But it looks like YouTube has taken this a step further. They are taking down videos of people that have legit just made jokes about others. And people legitimately making criticism about other YouTubers are getting taken down. This is insane. As well as that, my old videos, I know a lot of you guys are wondering what's gonna happen with your old videos, Martin. So according to YouTube- As of now, it appears that YouTube's thinking around this is yes, we would remove that content because regardless of if it was posted 10 years ago, they are still hosting and showcasing a video in 2019 or whenever. But it appears that YouTube thinks that their give here is while they're removing this now, they won't penalize channels now with things like strikes because of previous content or for, it's usually like a 30 day grace period. Obviously- It's past the date since the new policy my channel will get a strike but it was if it was before the policy my video would just get deleted that's it the video would just buy Bye, Felicia. We we'll just go up and get deleted. That's it. I won't get any strikes or anything like that. But yeah, a lot of people are very sensitive, public figures. It comes with the gig. You know what I mean? People always do ish on me. And I love it. Like, I love it when people put funny things on my face. They do it to try to piss me off and I laugh and then they stop doing it. So now I'm going to pretend to be really upset. So if you guys see me crying, it's because I'm fake crying and I'm crying. Oh my God. <laughs> they put my face on a dog. Uh. I'm doing it because I want them to keep doing it. Okay. So 
say, just so for the new people when they come on, they're going to call me a hypocrite and be like, you do it, man, in, 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 But my OGs, which will be you guys by then, will be like, well, I, we F with Martin and we know he said before that he was just doing it so that they can do it more. But a lot of people are not happy because a lot of celebrities as well are also coming onto this platform and a lot of things are changing. And, you know, we're the people that, we're the ones who grew YouTube. We're the ones who put, like, help YouTube to where it is today and some new CEO has come on and is just doing some shady ish and I would definitely love to do more conspiracies on that on the uh, app I was telling you about and I might do it there it might not be no ha ha funny videos because your boy's busy you know and I can't edit every single video I do on all these platforms and channels I have okay I'm trying to work really hard make everything work so I can hire more people so it can help me out and I can make better content for you guys but it is what it is for now and yeah so anyway, my conclusion with Kayla and Cole, my video never gave a, a, like a conclusion. I never said, yes, you did it. Yes, you beat this girl up. You did this. You did that. I never uh, make a, I made an accusation towards you. So that video is completely fine. If you have a problem with what I say, let me know. Be like, you were wrong in this. You were wrong in that. La, 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 la. If you have a, like, just say it. You feel me? Because I can comment and talk about anything that you put out there on the internet. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Hey guys, I'll see you in another drama video.